welcome to Bhavithara Legacy for the Future. This is Srinivas from Bhavithara. One of our mission is to add value to 1 million people by 31st December 2024. We are happy that you all part of this great mission. And happy new year, happy Pongal and happy holidays all that. Purposefully we waited for three weeks before we release a new video. Because most of you might have some new year resolutions and into practice new habits and all that. So we want to help you. So today's topic is improve energy and immunity by reducing things. And before we reveal what are those three things, let's go into the dimensions. First things first, be safe and healthy. Again, we are saying, you know, third wave, fourth wave, whichever wave it is, but you know, we encourage each one of you to use mask and you know, follow the social distance wherever you can so that you can safeguard your health. Okay. Prevention is better than cure. We all know it. But when it comes to practicing, sometimes we may lack of it, right? Now, give me an example, you know, statistics. Like, I believe based on uh, uh, USA, the sick industry, the healthcare industry, the spendings on healthcare for treatmenting of various things was about three plus trillion dollars in 2020. 2021, of course, it went up much higher probably eight or nine percent because of COVID and other situations. Okay? But today I'm going to talk about a video, a few simple things, how you can improve your energy and immunity by 50% so that you can be energetic, your immunity, you are happy, you are active, energetic and healthier, right? So let's see what are those things. By the way, before we go into the presentation, we would like to share our disclaimer. The views or suggestions presented in this video are not a professional. Okay, use at your own discretion. And if you have any situation, do contact the experts. In fact, we, we love and promote and like doctors, many doctors in our family and friends. We are not saying that doctors are any less. But what I'm saying is when it is emergency and needed, yet yeah, do we need to go to the doctor? Okay. But you know, prevention is the better. If you are careful and uh, have a good plan in before, it will help you. Okay. What I'm talking about, salt. Either you can minimize or eliminate. You know, I was shocked when I saw that about five pounds of salt is being consumed by an average person. That's about six grams. Might sound it simple, but you know, when you consume actually more salt, you know, what happens in your body is it retains water, which is, you know, gaining more weight and some joint problems and different things, will happen. you know, the bed pressure or various things, right? So that's why it's a good idea to minimize or eliminate. Most of the time, we might not need, but especially the modern day processing food is having more and more sugar because, you know, sugar, salt and flour. All these things, you know, what happens is it makes you it taste better and help you to or encourage you to eat more. These are like, you know, there, when you eat these things, what happens, there is something called dopamine. You know, a chemical comes up, you know, it, it, it helps you to encourage to do things, right? So that's why it's a good idea to, if you can reduce and eliminate, fantastic. How about the sugar? When I heard, an average person is consuming about 70 pounds of sugar. That's about seven teaspoons of sugar. Hope you are able to see here, right? There's about seven teaspoons of sugar. And this is scary. But actually, if someone of, some, of the, uh, some of us are, if I'm drinking more coffee or soda, probably it could be more. But you know, sugar, I heard somewhere again, uh, read about some research. It reduces your immunity like just like that, very quick. Right? 
and on the picture you are seeing three or four different there are seven or 10 different varieties of sugars green sugar brown sugar raw sugar all different you know we buy organic brown sugar in fact we buy about seven uh, seven pounds of sugar i believe and we consume probably almost an year um, including ourselves and any guests coming and all that so we we eliminated and reduced what do you do you can eliminate added sugar if not what you can do is do some substitute how about using some dates right how about uh, maybe using some honey right some honey right this is a now when i heard uh, this lot of sugar you know this is like a uh, uh, hot sauce i was surprised to see there is sugar in a hot sauce how about uh, you know peanut peanut butter right anything that you are buying outside they are adding sugar you know i surprised you to see in the pizza they are adding the sugar the pizza base let us learn the pizza sauce right so we do what we do is actually we make a pizza sauce at home these are about seven or eight vegetables we have like maybe carrot beetroot tomatoes peppers celery different things right and we are eliminating the sugar and salt in this we do not add those two things probably we might add some uh, spices which helps you to you know develop and uh, add some more antioxidant right so eliminating the sugar is a good idea what is the next one the flour is again you know we all eat cakes or snacks and different uh, crunches and munchies right so i believe 130 pounds per year might be little less but you know that's an average person is eat right now again in terms of this flower what we are doing is instead of using the plain all purpose flower they are mixing like four or five different types of grains of flour and make our own base uh, the pizza or the bread or anything that we make at home right now it's a very good idea to do these things yourself but sometimes we might say hey, it takes a lot of time and consume time consuming and this and that but when you compare your health and actually it can be probably budget friendly like for example this uh, sauce we are talking about right we made a, a batch of sauce like 5 or 10 or uh, you know uh, batches uh, and we use it we freeze it and we use it whenever we need it but you might see that okay when i order it's very quick actually you know for ordering it takes time you may wait for delivery to come 30 minutes 40 minutes you may wait and waste time or you spend more money and all this on top of it it is actually causing health challenges i'm not saying don't go out eat and all time uh, uh, eat but not all the time make it only few times okay if you can do this you will actually encourage yourself to have a very good happy health okay so with that health is a wealth like us share us and subscribe our on team and most importantly i want to conclude this uh, video with a challenge how about next 7 days you eliminate consuming any added sugar right any time when you are buying something right uh, look into the look into the labels actually nowadays especially in usa they added fda made you know that uh, list out if any kind of uh, added sugar is available on the product okay now when you are reading the label whatever the ingredients are there first two three four those are the having majority of the content wise okay so see how you can eliminate some of the salt sugar and flour so that you can be very healthy and have gain a lot of good energy yourself okay let's take the challenge for next seven days eliminate any added sugar and post some of your results you see yourself instant instant uh, energy and the laziness and all things will go away okay so with that we are done and looking forward to see you in next video